Hey guys, you're watching Explore the Weird. If you're into creepy and weird, you must be a goon. Welcome back. I love to see you all over again, all the time, 24 7. Oh man, oh man. Things are happening in this channel all the time. We are exploring, we're looking at my For You page and really seeing what the algorithm has in store for me today. But before we get into it, uh, into it, um, I would love if you would interact with the video the next time you see a thumbnail with my face on it please click on it give us some love we're trying to grow the ganja goon gang and the only way we can grow is with interaction from you I hear most of you guys are watching me on a television it's easy it's easy three G's type it into the comments it's super easy to do on the television don't be that guy don't let anyone get away with it if they're watching uh, if you're watching this alongside with someone on the television, make them. Make someone grab that remote right now and make them either like this video or comment 3Gs. I prefer the comment over the like. But regardless, we're going to get right into it. Guys, this is a longer form channel. I really review the video. I watch the video alongside you guys. And I talk a lot. I have ADHD. I'm all over the place. So get ready for that. The goons already know the spiel, Teddy. Stop it. Stop telling them all the time. They're tired of this. I'm sorry. They tell, they tell me the intro helps, all right? So, like, the new guys that find us, they're not like, hey, why is this guy? I'm not used to this. I prefer my reaction, guys, barely adding anything to the video and just quickly moving on. And I just want to see videos. And that's not what I'm about. Hey, we're trying to grow a goon gang. We got free energy here. We got goon energy here. We got goon vibes. We got a shivalingam. You know what a shivalingam is? Yeah. Yeah, you don't. Go watch episode 100. There's a full intro. Oh, man, that's going to be easy to remember. That 420 episode and episode 100 all at the same time. Um, all right, guys, we're going to get right into it. These doctors, yeah, they told me flat out there is no cure. So if you have, like, say, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, just doing a dietary change does not fix that. What essentially fixes it then? Medicine. You would need to be on some medication, probably lifetime. There's no way to help you, essentially, other than getting you on these immunosuppressant drugs. For life. For life, which you heard her say. Mm -hmm. You heard her say that. For life, you'll be on medication. I would have been terrified into thinking maybe this person knows what they're talking about because they're my assigned GI specialist. They have PhD by their name. Of course they must know what they're talking about. And then I would have gone on that immunosuppressant, would have gotten even sicker like I was in the initial stages of following their protocol, and I don't, I don't think I would have ever got to the point where I'm at now, namely in as fast as I did, let alone being in what some doctors would qualify as remission. Um, it sounds like this guy is in remission and he's found a cure. It's very good for him. And I see from the thumbnail, Keto cured his Crohn's, Teddy. I actually have Crohn's, so it looks like the algorithm's like, Teddy, here's the cure. Um, I'm not too intrigued. I almost feel like he's misinformed. He listened to one doctor that said, lifetime and that's it i i'm going through crohn's right now the best thing for my crohn's was smoking the like button i do it in various forms not only do we smoke the like button i can ingest the like button i can vaporize the like button uh my preferred way is ingestion it does more healing it keeps the inflammation down um and it's it's also relatively fun and it's fun hanging out with the goons especially when you're smoking that like right so um yeah this guy sounds like he's found a different way to do and uh keep his symptoms in check i'm very proud of him um even the medications uh that i took for crohn's and still take for crohn's uh they don't they haven't told me it's lifelong uh once i'm in remission usually they wean you off i haven't heard of uh people that gone through it lifelong that's a lot to take man if, if this is lifelong oh boy but um it sounds like he found he found a way i've heard many other stories i th i think it's fine all right we're gonna keep it going so watch yeah. this look at come on Yo, what the heck? That, I mean, when he paused it, it looks so CGI'd, but like maybe that's the perfect still. Maybe they, you know, that's clone number three of Kamala there. Hey, Teddy, they got clone number three. She's wearing the rubber mask. She's got the plastic and the silicone over her. You can't even tell. I'm buddy. 
I can tell. I see the neck. I see the imprint. Um, yeah, quite interesting. You know, we've seen many of these, even for Biden. We've seen these for all the presidents, Obama, Trump. They're all reptilians, they say. All the elites are reptilians. All the politicians have been replaced by the elites that are running this. Uh, all right. All right. I'm sorry. We're going full crazy right off the bat. Let's get rid Let's keep it going. <laughs> Oh, man, uh, the beat was about to drop. Uh, so scientists warn bird flu pandemic could be 100 times worse than COVID-19. And weirdly enough, it's 2024 election year. Every four years, every election year, there seems to be some uh, epidemic or uh, flu or virus that seems to be blown out of proportion in the fake news and the propaganda that we're fed. We've got, we are now woke goons. We are now fed uh better information than we had i would say four years ago so let's be uh resourceful and make sure we're well uh in line if this does uh happen again and it's a different name now it's uh, bird flu teddy all right fine then it's gonna be swine flu then it's gonna be bat flu then it's gonna stop adding flus we already know the name of the game just be smart understand your health understand your body and understand how to continue uh, if things go sour. Um, all right, let's keep it going. All right, let me say something. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the moon going in front of the sun today. Just saying. The skies were crystal clear today. And I have seen the moon in the sky many a days. Like, I've, I have tons of video footage of it. Beautiful moon in the sky. There was no moon in the sky today, and it was a crystal clear sky. So, one thing, weirdness is going on. Number two, if you don't believe me, that wasn't the moon that blocked the sun. Watch this. Check this footage out. Yo, that was interesting. It definitely uh, appeared very parallel when it came in and left. Um, but, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I'm thinking of this in a planetary model. And yeah, if the moon does come in front of the sun and it's daytime, right? It, it, it wouldn't it be too bright to even anticipate or see the moon with our naked eye. Um, I'm sure there was someone with a telescope that could have witnessed it and been like, yup, that was the moon that came in front. Trust me. Um, you know, this is one video. Definitely gives you uh, some weird vibes here. But I think uh, it was okay. I do believe it was the moon in front of the sun. The reason we can't see it is because of the glare and the UV light that is presented by the sun, which is even more uh, than the moon, right? That's why it's dark uh, when it's nighttime. <laughs> Of course it's dark when it's nighttime, Teddy. What? What the hell? Stop it, Crazy Teddy. I don't know what I'm trying to say. This feels fine. I feel like everything's fine. This guy's overthinking it. The moon's there. That was the moon, right? Right? Oh, boy. The comments are going to go crazy. Remember, the top scientists at the largest Department of Defense lab, the Naval Research Labs in D.C., which is was started by Thomas Edison, the top scientists in that lab personally was on our team for years and a friend he's passed away he was in the, the top secret vault and saw the documents unredacted of course that specifically dealt with this issue where it said we mastered gravity control in october 1954 in the discussion now there's a direct person who saw that that is the tipping point because once they've had the technology breakthrough it was decided by these powerful interests 
we can't let the public know anything about this. Yo, what? What? So they mastered gravity control. Gravity is something they can control back in 1954. So what? What now? Man, what if direct energy weapons is just a form of controlling? Nah, nah, nah. Two different things. Nah, nah, nah. See, I'm trying to now I'm going deep in. I'm trying to make relations with different conspiracies together. And then harps the way that they control the gravity, Teddy. No, no. You stop it, Crazy Teddy. No, we don't know that. Don't make rumors up. That's how this start. That's how the conspiracies. And then watch. Harp is the way that they control the gravity, Teddy. No, no, no. Oh boy, oh boy, Harp's supposed to be the one that controls the weather. Let's let's get this right, right? Oh Teddy, you haven't seen what they do underground. Oh my god. Oh man, oh man. So Dr. Stephen Greer, always, always a wealth of uh information here. Hard to determine how much of it is actual and how much of it is not real. <laughs> fictional and non fictional? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I like to have fun around here. Um, yeah, this definitely has a weird taste in my mouth. I want to say, yeah, I believe him, but without, like, proof of the direct energy weapon. Like, when Bob Lazar tells me, I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, I feel like this guy's seen it. With him, with Stephen Greer, it, it's a little bit different. I don't, I can't tell if it's genuine, you know? And I'm, there are stories he does tell me where I'm like, yeah, this is genuine. Oh, we went out there. We saw the UFOs. We saw a being come out. I'm like, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's keep it going. There. I'm going to stop it before anything happens. Up here, I also have another tone generator set to 525, and I'm about to show you what will happen with that. Um, things happen much quicker when you're using pure tones rather than... The other stuff I was using on YouTube, which had like sounds mixed in with it. Um, there we go. 528. And already you can see a much more stable fracture. Okay, I have to do this quick because this stuff does not last. 525, you can see there's a whole range of tones here, but 525, you're going to hear, I hear the fluctuation there. There we go. You don't know where that is, I do. Is in Sedona. And it is a well known uh, vortex um, phenomenon. Uh, there's several of them there. And you are witnessing a Oh my god. It, it is so hard. It is so hard to believe because it's like, hey, wouldn't I see this on the other side? Like, wouldn't I see a random guy in the sky, like, looking down at me uh, if I'm, you know, walking in the beaches of Sedona, if that's where the portal led, right? So it, it's it's so hard. It's so hard to understand um, how people can believe this. You know, it's clearly edited, at least to me. I, I do video editing. I've taken classes in video editing. It's so easy to make a CGI portal, put it on there. Um, you guys, like, uh, I have an alternate account that my wife now uses to watch all these YouTube things, and now it's like Kyra now jumps onto it. 
and then they do all these crazy things but like on that account you'll see uh lively void um i've done like runescape video editing i've added special effects to uh things you know like this is definitely something i can see being doctored it would be so cool it'd be so cool if this in fact was true but even the website he was using like an online tone generator guys you can do this right now go go to google type in 525 uh, hertz uh, frequency tone generator and then 528 tone generator put a little thing on a bed and see if uh, if you make a portal I want to see you in Sedona I want the proof here we go Teddy they're all gonna take video editing classes and make videos like this now yeah that's how all the reflection videos with the crazy ghost started all right um, let's keep it going by the way before we keep it going did you smoke that like button are you a goon are you a goon that's watching me on a television and you still haven't uh, gotten up, grabbed the remote, pressed the uh, like, or commented triple G's? Three G's, that's all I want. It's so easy to navigate over. Click the buttons. Don't be lazy. I'm not asking you to do much. The goons would love for you guys to check in with us too. 70% of you guys are watching me on a television, so come on now. Come on now. Don't be that goon. You see, you're already a goon. There you go. There you go. Now you gotta do it. All right, as I said, let's Yo, um, what some guy recently told us about this cymatics cymatics there's something with like uh, sounds and frequencies use uh, in 3D modeling and that's exactly what uh, these things uh, just showed us. It definitely explains all those columns and all those intricate uh, things and it, it, it's in line guys. I mean clearly uh, it, it can be explained that hey they had a different uh, source in order to create all these things and that's how they were able to do it so quickly. Uh, we just can't wrap our mind around it but yeah. I believe this is a, a potential uh, real thing. It makes sense. I like the clouds, too. The clouds are wild. Oh, man. So that's how it's just not a crazy tornado happening. It's just uh, lenticular clouds. <laughs> it makes sense. So frequencies affect clouds. Frequencies affect the matter. So, yeah, why not? 3D modeling is a real thing that can happen. Makes sense. This is a dye. A call it's an anthraquinone dye. Can't see much color in it. Um, and I'm going to shine light on it and the, it's just like very like the reaction we've seen already with the blue dye it will abstractly pull electrons from the solution and go and change color I hope now you won't you may not see the color too well until I switch the light off perhaps you can see it already can you yeah all right well that's changed color now that is hydroquinone it's a it's anthrohydroquinone because it's pulled electrons from the fuel from, from the water and this is water and alcohol it's pulled electrons from those now that is a high energy compound it has more energy than it had before and it will react with air if I let in air it will burn it you won't see a flash of flame or anything but it will get warmer as it reacts watch what happens if I let in the air now the anthrohydroquinone, which is red, reacts with the air when I shake it and goes back. Goes, goes back to anthroquinone, which is what we started with. And then we can do that all over and over again. Now unfortunately, that is a very efficient reaction. Very high efficiency indeed. In fact, anthrochrone? How do we even get anthrochrone? Is it easy to get? I thought hydrogen was the answer. I thought the next thing we're going to use hydrogen. Teddy, we're going to use water and we're going to find a way to take the hydrogen out of the water and continue uh, like our Navy submarines and um, aircraft carriers. They never need to refuel because they just constantly use the water to keep their hydrogen going. So we can do the same thing. EV's fake. Teddy, EV's fake. But this guy with the anthrocarnin? I don't even know. That's some crazy liquid. That's some crazy like... Uh, Frankenstein stuff right there. It's like, oh, I brought it to life, and now it's back to its original thing. It's dead again. Um, I'm sure Nathan Castle uh, recently became a member. Oh, boy, I don't know. I, he became a member before I even made that bit about him, and it's very unfortunate. Now I record these things, um, and I don't even get to see him till like, like, 10, 12 days later because it just goes through the editing, 
want to we have two different angles we want to get you guys good content um and it's uh, it's also a battle with that because it's like oh now this this content too late now the goons are kind of like i've already seen this in other reaction channels they move on so i really appreciate the goons that stick by and come back even if they've seen these videos before they still watch me i, I love that and i appreciate you guys the most um, but yeah, this is quite interesting. Can we make fuel out of sunlight if we have enough of this liquid? Absolutely. I mean, look at it. It's, it's burning. And all you had to do was add some air. <laughs> and he can revert it back, back to the original thing. Look at it. It's, it sounds so safe. Better than gasoline. <laughs> Better than propane. Oh, here we go, Teddy. You're going to get the propane guys out, you. Here comes Hank Kill. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh man, not everyone's going to get that. What's Hank Hill? Come on now, you don't know King of the Hill? Alright, let's uh, keep it going. In this video, she speaks the truth about consciousness and artificial intelligence. Make sure you watch until the end and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're trying to sleep right now, please don't watch this. Also, if you just smoked a large bowl of cereal, please don't watch this. Put it in your saved folders for later when you got time. Cause you're gonna need a lot of time to think yo and before you know this lady's like hey if you smoke the bowl of cereal if you smoke that leg we are goons we are woke goons we're gonna be fine we're gonna get through this video together there's nothing that's about to shake us we've already heard it all buddies about stuff because i'm about to fuck your whole world up okay so science has a lot of things that they have discovered that they just put on the bookshelf because we don't know what to do with it for example Time isn't real. In fact, on the quantum level, everything's happening simultaneously. Also, we can't find the bottom of reality. All we find is the smallest of particles popping in and out of existence. That's crazy. We also don't know where the mind is located. The brain lights up when we think thoughts, but we have no idea where the mind is located. So now we're encountering this thing called artificial intelligence. And it's kind of creepy because, well, it moves a lot like a human being. It recognizes patterns, learns from its mistakes, and moves independently. They say we're mimicking human intelligence, but did we just create what human intelligence, what our mind is? Is this how we started? I would say yes. You see, this whole world that we're in, it's most likely that it's a virtual world. Yeah, I mean, I would say we're in the Matrix. The goons, see, I already told you there was nothing. Yo, Teddy, she scared us with the, oh, if you're about to sleep. And you smoke that like, oh man, this may b b blow your mind. My mind's already blown, Lee. You can't do worse than I've already done. <laughs> yes, we are in the Matrix. Um, yeah, people can't figure out where the mind is. There's no sense of like your aura or your persona being um, being able to be pinpointed to an organic uh, organ in your body, right? Like, oh yeah, this is uh, the brain part and it's this part right here. That's his mind. We go store this in the database. We got him. We got him in a digital form now. No, no, that's not how it works. But hopefully one day I want singularity to happen. Only a few of you goons know what singularity is. So, um, yeah, quite interesting. This lady is definitely, I guess, just waking up and realizing that her mind is getting blown. Um, I just realized what I did there. We're going to keep it going. Um, interesting goon time. Let's keep gooning and uh, let's... Uh, Keep exploring. Oh boy, oh boy. Cancer is not a disease, it's a survival mechanism. All the toxicity through our diet, lifestyle, stress, it needs a place to house those toxins. So they house it in what's called a tumor to protect you. Cancer is not trying to kill you. Cancer is actually trying to save your life. It's creating a tumor, a place for all those toxins to be so that they don't spread to other parts of the body. When you go to a doctor, the first thing they do is say, okay, well, let's take a biopsy. Well, what is a biopsy? It's where they prick the tumor and they see if it was cancerous or not. Not. Well, yeah. first of all, whether the tumor is cancerous or not, your passive treatment is still the same. So you don't actually need the biopsy. In fact, most people don't actually die from cancer. They die from the treatment of cancer. Remember that it's, we're dealing with healthcare, so there's no money to be made off healthy humans. And so when they prick the tumor, they're opening it up and allowing the cancer cells and all the, the harmful toxins to now spread throughout the body. Mm. So now you go from having a tumor on your breast or whatever it is. Now they do the biopsy, they come back and they say, okay, well now the cancer's spreading all throughout your body. So we're going to have to charge you more money and you're gonna have to do more radiation chemotherapy and all that etc i realize that some of you watching this might feel a little bit confused or upset by hearing these words but i would encourage you to um find a cat that needs a home 
and uh, really just recognize that this guy is actually sharing the truth, believe it or not. So biopsies do spread cancer. And if you focus on nutrition, detoxification, prevention, exercise, improving your sleep, doing all of these things, cancer will not grow in your body. Yo, yo, what the hell is this guy smoking, bro? It's not our like button. Um, I've had friends that I have lost to cancer and it was cancer had spread prior to any biopsy was ever done. Cancer was present prior to even being uh, found. You know, this guy has one narrative where, hey, and I understand I'm upset because this speaks to me. I have uh, friends that I have personally lost to issues. I have family members that I've lost to. Uh, cancer my own grandmother uh, had breast cancer and had to get um double both of her things removed it is it's wild this is crazy this is just wild i can't believe i'm watching a video oh my god i'm getting too agitated let's stop this is sad this is sad i don't i i understand he's trying to say this now you have two people going hey yeah the cancer is being collective and the other weird part is i've also heard this um simmer down i've also heard um that people have had like uh there's always cancer there's cancers always in your body and your body's immune system is constantly battling the cancers so i am being a little rational right now i'm reeling it back in um yeah maybe uh, the the cancer is being submerged and it makes it easier for the immune system to attack and get rid of and that's what the diet is ah, i'm being super open-minded right now um and not uh letting the feelings too hard here but yeah this potentially could be but i'm quite skeptical my brother dr Bencada, he's a doctor i trust him that's not his uh, that's his first name you're not gonna find dr ganja you look up dr ganja you're gonna find everything else except the actual doctor he's a true doctor he knows his shit <laughs> Uh, and he doesn't smoke the like. He's a real medical doctor. So I'm a, I'm a trust this thing. I don't believe he has any malicious intent to give me misinformation or make me suffer. But this is a thing. We do know there are medicines out there that cure cancers. They take longer. We assume, hey, this cure should happen overnight. But sometimes they have to keep you going in the system. And it's a profit-making system. And we know that the healthcare system is against us. But hey, if there is light at the end of the tunnel and people do find remission and stuff so interesting let's try not to get into that state stay healthy stay exercising and eat good food stop don't order out stop it put that pizza down i see you stop it all right let's keep it going project their own holograms and this is what a lot of people they don't know and understand so when you're talking about things like the law of attraction and how it works it all has to do with tapping into software that has built this realm and you can manifest things here through thought because conscious thought is what powers this whole system. The people that are in control and power on this planet don't want this information to get out. But if 7 billion people learn this, it's game over. Oh my God. Manifestation is something I've always believed in ever since the Shivalingam came into my thing. I literally, my life has changed, you know. I had been trying uh, to conceive a child and one of the things it's like six months is all, all it took but once the shivalingam came in i was like dude 100 percent, this is going to be the month i just feel like there's an energy that's entered into our home and something just feels different and and even the story of how i acquired the shivalingam is a is a uh time uh, is for another time but as soon as the shivalingam came in i'm like dude there's just something about this and this is me prior to doing any research i actually ended up calling my mom i told her hey i've acquired the stone it's a shivalingam she went she went did some research she called some priests up from a temple they were like hey this is authentic there is a true spiritual uh meaning uh behind this uh, uh lingam and i'm like yo i'm really feeling this i put it in the room and then it's like within that week and like we found out um so that conception happened prior uh, to me getting the stone but it's still like the act of the stone coming into um my timeline just i felt like was what yeah regardless it's not about conception right now this is about manifestation i feel like i can manifest anything um now that i've done it you know for myself and it may not be true manifestation it was something that was achievable daddy having a kid is not that hard any biological person can do it that's what you think they be jabbing us and making it harder don't you know <laughs> I've been jabbed many times. <laughs>
Uh, but I manifested. I manifested even after the jab that I could still. I could still. But regardless, we're gonna um, continue going with the manifestation narrative. My next thing to manifest is the Lamborghini, Courtstone, Chivalingum. Um, you know, constantly. Could even there be data stored in here? It's a quartz, right? Dude, imagine there's like full data in here and I just can't say it. I'm so mesmerized by this. This is a weird addiction. There is something here, guys. And I, I gotta tell you, I want everyone to know that I'm sending you goon energy right now. Positive vibes. There's no negativity here. We're only here to do positive things. And I want you guys to get past anything, any suffering that you're having. I want to put an intent out there right now that it is going to get better for you as goons and the goon gang is going to grow and everything's going to be great i appreciate each of you guys we're going to keep it going got a few more to do got a few more to do Sleep for seven or eight hours you're going to spend three hours this is medical studies now this is hard no science now mm -hmm. we've known this since the 1950s when mm -hmm. we discovered the four brain waves um you spend three hours out of the body into the fifth dimension the question is where do you go most people, because they don't know what they're doing, or because they're arguing with their wife, or they're worrying about problems, or because they have too many drugs, they go to the lower astral plane. Mm. That's a very bad neighborhood. Like hell. Well, except you can get out of it. Okay. Yeah. So it's like purgatory. Okay? Purgatory, okay. Whereas, um, if you go, if you use the techniques I described, and psychic protection techniques and more positive things, you can leave through the crown chakra, not through the third chakra, which will take you to the lower astral. Mm. If you go to the crown chakra, which is where you want to go, now you go to the upper astral plane, or the causal, mental, uh, etheric, or even soul plane. Those are all positive dimensions, okay? The only two negative dimensions are the lower astral plane and this one. <laughs> we have a lot of problems here, but the other dimensions are all positive, and each dimension has a sound and certain characteristics that are relevant to it. For example, if you're out of the body and you hear the roar of the sea, you're on the astral plane. If you hear the tinkling of bells like a New Age bookstore, now you're on the causal plane where the Akashic Records are stored. If you hear the sound of running water, you're on the mental plane. And if you hear the buzzing of bees, you're on the etheric plane. Mm -hmm. Or if you hear the sound of a flute, you're on the soul plane. I have never heard of these planes. That soul plane is where I want all the goons to be. And I know he's like, hey, you're on the lower astral plane if you do drugs. Well, smoking the lake is not a drug. I know in some countries, oh, Teddy, it's still elite. Nah, you stop that nonsense. We're manifesting that also. You're going to be, I, everything's going to work out. And we're going to legalize it wherever you are if it isn't already. Um, so, and if you guys are like, hey, how do I need help getting out of this astral plane? Teddy, I'm not getting the help. Yo, you're part of the goon gang. The goon's energy is going to help you get into that soul plane. Do not worry. This guy definitely is speaking some truths. Potentially, I've always thought you needed uh, DMT or other types of hallucinogens to access these uh, dimensions. But now I'm reeling it back and I'm like, wait, maybe that's just to access the beings in the dimensions. And you can actually explore the fifth dimension. But, you know, to me, the fifth dimension, I, I've had some crazy... Uh, realistic uh, dream. So if it was that in the fifth dimension, is the fifth dimension a parallel of ours? Um, or is it just a few things? Is it just like another reality with a few differences and they have the Berenstein bears and not the Berenstein? Oh my god, here it is. <laughs> quite interesting, quite interesting. Let's keep it going. Yo, so I'm in the air.
You know, at first I was looking at those smokestacks and I'm like, here comes the pollution here. They're, they're hiding the, uh, uh, their pollution as cloud seeding or something. But then again, cloud seeding is a real thing. Weather modification does exist. We've seen this. We have, uh, we are goons. We know everything. And uh, weather tech, um, chemtrails, we all know they have uh, the technology to do it and have used it. Uh, and, you know, if it's to their advantage and they're trying to do something, why not, right? So, uh, I also know that we're about to go through, I guess, the hottest um, the sun has ever been. Nathan was telling me something about that. And for you, for those of you guys, again, Nathan Castle, new member on the channel, knows a lot of information. A scientist himself, his uh, credentials check out. And you will see, you know, he gets real detailed in the comments. Uh, he knows his stuff, guys. Um, yeah, this is quite interesting. And I do believe what we're looking at could be a cloud uh, seeder, a cloud maker, and they're using it in order to, uh, for whatever purposes they need to. It's NASA. Oh, they got to make some rain in order to do the cover up and add some more clouds so they can do the projector. Teddy, come on now. I know. I know. I already know what they're going to do. <laughs> Here comes the invasion. Come on, Space Force. Let's go. Oh, man. No one ever tells me what the Space Force is for, though. I always ask. All right, let's keep it going. All right, I want y'all to watch this time lapse I made of the eclipse. Pay attention to how the moon moves. I didn't know the moon moved like this across the sky. So y'all, this is about a whatever, however long, 45 minute time lapse, bunch of different clips. So it comes in at an angle right here and it's gonna curve down and like dock in place. Then it's gonna go straight up. I didn't know the moon went across and it moved up. I didn't know that was possible. As you can see, it's almost there. I know it's blurry. A bunch of clouds come over. This is when it got bad, of course, towards the end. But look, keep, keep watching. So you can see how it, it kind of comes over. That's about the time it got now. It's going to start going up. It's going to go like up at an angle, like up like this. I don't know. It's just kind of weird, man, because I've never seen the moon, the moon move that way across the sky. The moon moves side to side. It never goes across and straight up. It's literally like a, it made like a 90-degree turn. Really more than a 90 degree turn, as you can see, because when it comes over, it, look at that. That was my phone because the, the clouds came in, so I had to cut the clips off. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Um, I actually was there for the solar eclipse, and now I know it's been many days. Why are we still doing solar eclipse videos? Guys, at the time of recording, it's only been like two days since the eclipse. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, uh, very interesting but he says he got different footages and, and put it together uh in my timeline and at the time that i viewed it uh before certain patch was over the next day when they fired it up um it was consistent it went in and it, it left the same and i think we've even seen a previous video in here uh where it was pretty much consistent but this guy is it's showing it you know coming in one way leaving another way but i think that's just because it's different views uh, and different clips and potentially that's why but it does make you think um potentially is there a different thing you know what was crazy we just saw the clouds video and he talked about the clouds even when i viewed it near the end there was so much clouds uh especially during the peak like right right about two or three minutes after the peak there was so many clouds that i i didn't i couldn't see uh the eclipse with my glasses so i actually started looking for the sun uh with the cloud that to see uh, what was happening and then I saw the clouds and I'm like oh man they tell you not to do it but I actually was able to see uh, the eclipse through the clouds it was the only way to see it because even with the goggles I wasn't able uh, to see the eclipse so now this gets me thinking this gets me thinking it's uh, interesting if there was a, a reason there were so many clouds were they firing up the cloud maker yeah yeah <laughs> all right let's do uh, two more two more it's two more <laughs> Yo, this has, yeah, it even says here, this looks like a very rare ball lightning. I am 100% with the ball lightning. I watched that Ozzy Osbourne thing where he also reacts to uh, clips as well. Yeah, this 100% looks like ball lightning. Let's show Ozzy this. He would be so happy. Oh, Teddy, it was ball lightning. Yes, Ozzy, you're also a goon. The goon's going to save everybody. Um, yeah, before beginning the explanation... We don't claim whether this video is real or not since this phenomenon is extremely rare. We don't have enough resources to validate this is real. Ball lightning is a rare 
and unexplained phenomenon uh, described phenomena described as luminescent spherical objects that vary from pea size to several meters in diameter. The usually associated with thunderstorms, the observed phenomena is reported to last considerably longer than the split second flash of a lightning bolt, bolt and is a phenomena distinct from St. Elmo's fire. Yeah, this sounds crazy. A lot to read, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep it on the screen so you guys can pause it and read it. Uh, but seems uh, legitimately what they're describing. Ball lightning. All right, let's just do one more. Just one more. Teddy, I need to know. I need to know. How old you is? 22. What you do for a living? I uh, work at former Mills and uh. <laughs> Don't laugh. What's going on? What's going on? I got, I got a job. What's right. Like, what, what's wrong with that? Yeah, he's got a job. What's wrong with that? Why are they laughing at a guy that has bro? Mad respect to anyone that has a job. Anyone that's doing the grind. Nine to five. I myself am doing the grind. I myself am doing the grind. There's a reason you guys only get videos every other day. You know, I would love to do this full time. I would love if that uh, opportunity opens up for me. And, you know, they say members is the way to go during the shadow ban. So I do request if you guys want to come support the channel, you want to see this content daily, come truly support the channel. Become a member. Become a goon. Uh, we would love to have your support. It takes a lot to even do this uh, type of um, reactions. You know, we got uh, an editor. We got me. We got my wife sometimes looking for clips. Now I'm relying on For You page mostly. So she's got uh, a fair break. Um, and then you know, what's happened that's hilarious is she actually compiled a list of like 10 clips. And she's like, oh, I got clips for you. I go through all 10. It's all 10 we've already seen. And I'm like, guess what? The For You page is just as good as the content you want to show us so she's all uh, happy that hey less work for her but i thought that was interesting now we got a good algorithm um yeah sorry quite interesting i let i respect anybody that has a job i don't care what industry it is um the the repetitiveness is only for us to uh beat the matrix we have to play alongside the matrix only to beat the matrix it will happen it may take a little bit longer but we're gonna manifest and the civil kingdom is gonna help me and help us and then it's gonna be great no religion i'm trying to throw at you i am um pretty open i believe in multiple gods so you guys know uh i'm not gonna deny anyone's god or, or anything like that um regardless this is it this is the end we're gonna see each other till the next one uh future teddy it's probably been a couple of days since uh, uh recording you probably should start recording i know you probably finished out all the recordings now for uh the rest of april but yeah let's uh let's let's make some uh recordings for may let's get give the goons some content uh let's see they'll probably have another like a uh, few more like three or four more videos for april and then yeah we gotta we gotta jump on the bandwagon man oh boy oh boy all right guys that is it i will see you guys next time stay safe stay strong and most importantly of them all don't do anything crazy. Don't do anything crazy. I always feel like I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something and that's what I'm telling you today. Alright guys, goodbye.